I'm Jennifer Tavares with the Tompkins Chamber, and I'm excited this week that our member of the week is Tompkins County. If you could tell me more about how the county has coordinated a response and all of the um, incredible efforts of you and your team over the last uh, several months, that would be wonderful. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you for the chamber for, for recognizing us this week. There's been two components. There's been the public health response, which our health department has done a phenomenal job and doing a lot of the contact tracing, communicating with those in need with respect to, to, to public health needs and working with partners like, like Cuga Health Systems to ensure that we have testing availability to our community members. Uh, the other element of our response is coordinating with a lot of different stakeholders, uh, anywhere from childcare to food needs to higher ed uh, coordination, as well as economic development coordination. I also have with me Amy Hendricks, who is one of the deputy county administrators. I think it's the community and our employees have all taken on leadership and personal accountability. That's been a big piece of kind of coming out of this is how everyone has worked together and tried to find solutions in every question and challenge that came forward. And as we start to look towards the future and coming out of this, that's where we're going to be moving forward is understanding that we made radical changes and shifts to move those things forward. Thank you once again, Amy Hendricks, Deputy County Administrator and Jason Molino, Tompkins County Administrator. Um, our member of the week this week is Tompkins County. Congratulations. See the local businesses and organizations that make Tompkins County thrive. Tune in to New York Local Ithaca each week to celebrate the Tompkins Chamber Member of the Week. Brought to you by Visions Federal Credit Union.